Hey everyone, welcome. This is a uh, Goodwill outlet thrift house. If you hear the noises in the back, there's some robots that I picked up. They're talking. Um, I don't know if they're talking to each other or what. But anyways, so I got about, this is my best thrift haul from a Goodwill outlet ever. I so I'm found about, looks like about $4,000 worth of stuff. Potentially more, potentially. I'll probably end up taking, uh, <laughs> I'll probably end up taking, um, uh, offers on stuff so it'll it'll end up being less than the four thousand that i get but i went over every single thing and found comps for pretty much everything or if i some of the stuff i just sell and i just know the value of so let's get into it okay so first part of the video is gonna be clothing and then we're gonna go to like card or plush and then like hats cards uh games and then finish off with toys. So if you want to like skip, skip ahead or whatever, or there's going to be multiple parts of this video. It's going to be a long one. So I'm going to try to go fast. All right, let's get into what I found. Uh, this attack on Titans, uh, bag, double sided. I'm not really sure what the value is on that. Um, couldn't find any on that. Maybe 20 bucks. Um, this should sell. There's no other like M&M &M bags. And this is the new spokes candy or whatever. And there's controversy around that. And this is a nice bag. So that one should sell pretty good. Look at this little dragon, uh, or dinosaur, excuse me, bag. Um, it looks like it was from Hobby Lobby. Maybe like 20 bucks for that guy. Um, people have these Disney princess uh, costume dresses for about $20 each. I have six in there, so about $100 on that bag. Um, nothing, I couldn't find this. It's a Nashville Star, or Huntsville Stars, excuse me, bag, Budweiser. Um, 15 bucks maybe for that giveaway. Giveaway stuff that I do really well with. Then we have this, uh, okay, we're gonna <laughs> turn these guys off real quick. All right, and then we have this, this is just an unused uh, fanny pack. We have this uh, Jansport backpack. I don't know, I think this was like 25 bucks or something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, I saw these these little Nike bags. So it has to just do it on the top. Um, I saw them easily, that'll be 20 bucks for me. This Eddie Bauer one actually, uh, backpack. This one sold, sells for about $40. Pretty cool. First adventure. Um, I need more Disney stuff from my website. So this, hold that. From my website. So this will be, a, you know, good $11, $12 on my website. Uh, Columbia jacket uh, from the 80s. Um, I could probably get $30 for that one. And then this uh, Tommy Hilfiger XL sweater, that's a good $20 bill. Um, the last Star Wars marathon thing I sold, it sold for $30 and it had nothing, no graphic image. It just had like a little small champion thing on it. And that one sold for like $30. Bucks. I think I can get like $40 for this one at least. Um, Chevy, just another basic Chevy shirt. Um, good $10 to $12 on my website. NRA jacket, this actually sold for $50 before, so hopefully get around $50. It's a um, King Louie Double XL Man USA, pretty cool. Uh, Western shirts I get anywhere from $20 to $30 for the Wrangler Pearl Snaps. Uh, best, probably the, uh, one of the best finds of the day. This Muhammad Ali uh, hoodie sold for $85. That's a double sided, pretty cool. And then this is a single stitch Dane Electro guitar shirt, which the other ones that are on eBay are on there for about sixty or seventy dollars. So hopefully you get about fifty for that. That'd be cool. Sold this before, Goofy. This is a four XL. Should sell for more than most clothes because four uh, XL or stuff that's over three XL sells a lot better. So hopefully Goofy goes for a lot. This is an Oregon Ducks long sleeve shirt, and I should easily get twenty dollars for that. Arizona, Arizona Razorbacks, early 2000s. This is probably a $15 bill. Uh, L.L. Bean, this is like a khaki uh, button-up. I should get $20 at the lowest end on that one. Uh, Brooks Brothers, very nice pullover. Um, I could 20 bucks on that guy. Just a single stitch. It's got a little bit of a uh, standing on it, but I like the graphic on it. And it's vintage, so eh, maybe $15 on that one. Maybe less. Not really sure. Nike Dry Fit XL Women's Workout Shirt, uh, $15. In-N-Out Burger, I re really well with In-N-Out Burger stuff. This is a small, so this one will probably go for a little bit less. Uh, 12 to 15. 
Another brand I do really well, Famous Stars and Straps, sells well for me. I m might get up to $25 for this one, actually. Um, it's big graphic, so hopefully that'll go for like $25. Uh, Goonies, just something to add to my store for cheap. Probably $10, 10 to 15 somewhere in there. Iron Man 2, this is actually a promo shirt. So this one actually sells for a little bit more um, than the, like a regular Iron Man shirt that got mass-produced. Um, I believe this one should go around for around 35 and then uh, Seattle Seahawks. I just thought this was a cool graphic. Um, probably t twelve dollars or something in my store. Uh, Two thousand Da Vinci Day shirt. No comps on that. Twenty dollars probably. Uh, big Jordan hoodie. Um, basic. I don't know what. Uh, that might be early two thousands, but uh, I should get twenty five thirty dollars for that adult two XL. This is really nice condition. Under Armour. This will get this will get me twenty to twenty five. Uh, no uh, Salem Volcano shirts. This is a single stitch, and this from ninety seven. Not sure what I'll get. Maybe twenty five. It's got a little bit of staining, but there's rarity in that. So we'll see. Carhartt button up. Uh, twenty bucks easily. It's a pretty heavy duty one. Um, this is what LLB, and I believe I should get fifteen dollars for that purple thing. Uh, twenty five for the Chris Brown. Cool shirts, I, one of my best selling brands I've ever found. 25 bucks, easy. Uh, Orleans Racing shirt, couldn't find anything on that. Don't know. Has Napa on the front. Napa Racing. Uh, 25, 30 bucks on that. Vintage Champion shorts, should get about 15 on those. Disneyland, just another Disneyland shirt to add to my uh, website. Uh, basic Nike shorts, uh, 15, 20 bucks on those. And then we got a big dog Hawaiian shirt, uh, fifteen twenty on him. Adidas shorts, another fifteen twenty. Uh, <laughs> my brother threw that in there. Don't know why. Uh, Oregon crew neck should give me twenty five, and this Vans should also get me about twenty five dollars. So that's all the clothing. Um, don't know the value on this LeBron James hat from the two thousands. Is a fitted, nothing on it. So I. Couldn't really give a value on that. 15 for the Cabela's. We got Star Wars hat. This mini mouse hat looks like they sell for about 25. And then we have a bunch of plush. Keep falling down. Um, Buzz and Woody. Cheshire Cat. Big Mickey. This um, uh, Snuggle Bear with the tags. I sold sell them for about $30. The small ones. This is a giant one. It'll probably sell for about 75 to 80. $30 for that little tree. Snoopy back there is a big one. He's probably 50 bucks. This is a pull string Woody. It actually works. So that should be $20. This guy was like 15. Um, we got a Cabela's dog. This is actually the Peace Bears aren't very really worth a lot. But this is the one that is. This one's about $35. For some reason, turkey so well. I sold that. Curious George back there. This is a dragon tooth fairy, um, but the best finds for me, and then this was like a 1970s pillow pet, one of the first pillow pets I've ever seen. But the best thing that I found were these PJ masks. Apparently this one is super rare, $50 probably, maybe more. And then these guys were like 20, 25 each. And then I got a little uh, pull the bear wand. That lights up. Then we got a bunch of cards. Got some like rock and roll cards, which I thought were cool. They all came in this big bag of, of uh, cards. Uh, Tiger Woods, two sets of Tiger Woods cards. Uh, Pokemon card, or coin, sorry. And then these bags of, tri of um, greeting cards. Probably going to be my best find. There's about 50,000 that I've sold on eBay in the last 30 days. And they sell for like 5 to $10 each. I've got at least 100 there. And then clean canteen, $20. This big guy, the thermos, probably $30. $20 for the Epcot Center. I got just some small throw-ins. This Bible sells for the purple. It's the purple version. All the other ones are like black. So this one actually is worth more. Top Gun from the 1980s. We got a Mad Libs and a Hangman. I don't know why. I, think I shouldn't have bought that. It's like 20 bucks maybe. But this is a Bone China... Christmas cup, $30. D&D star set. All of these uh, DVDs, I got 17. Blu-rays, sealed. And those should go for $10 at least each. 
And then we have these, got three of these robots. They're about 30 each. This vanity is our Little Mermaid. Um, about $80 for that. Got some uh, Legos. Oh, these are cool. These are uh, letters that are Transformer letters. Uh, if you sell the, the set, the bag goes for about 25 to 30 But if you sell them individually, $10 each, people buy these individually. And I would get about $10 each, so there's $26 in there, so $260 on that. Uh, these horses are actually pretty valuable. Schleek, look out for Schleek. Uh, the bigger ones are probably 15 each. Lot the smaller ones together. Uh, this chair right here is like a doll chair, and it sells for like $25. Uh, this house, uh, candle holder house for Halloween, I'll get about $80 for. And then these little trinkets, um, good $15, $20 each for these trinkets. Uh, this, some of the best finds. This is, uh, he's about $75. This is Big Jim from 1970, I think 1971, I think is what he's from. This is a 1974 Hasbro farmhouse. And then some of the calico critters. Uh, the ship sells for, it was like 45, the, this sells for about 40, the, the little bus sells for 25, and then $100 for these Bauer skates. Alright, a little overview of everything that I found at the bins. Thanks guys.